All right, uh, this is sort of a work in progress uh, video chronicle or whatever of experimenting with a, a boot time management system called E4 RAT. So it's going to only work on, I think, on uh, extension 4 systems. So um, what I've done so far is downloaded boot chart, which uh, you can uh, open Software Center and look for it. Uh, fairly simple. Um, I have that installed so you just click install here and what happens is when you reboot each time you reboot it uh, creates a boot chart so if you open your home folder and press control L you can go to uh, slash VAR slash log slash boot chart and there's two reboots suggestion open it with Firefox and you can uh, just press zoom and the first boot with this was uh, 33 seconds. This is VirtualBox, remember. And this one is, uh, again, we'll check. And that said 23 seconds. And that was after doing some cleaning and stuff. Now, if you want, uh, where's the... You can unhide startup items with this command. Startup applications and stuff you don't want be careful so you press close and then do a reboot shut down restart uh, you have to give that a bit of time after it reboots uh, in the meantime I should mention if you go to system settings and then under user accounts um, unlock that type in your password and you don't have to make this permanent but uh, switch this it was in off position by default, so switch it back on and then just close that so you can automatically log in. Now, if you have things like Chrome or Chrome, Google Chrome or uh, accounts or other or Ubuntu One or anything, it's going to ask you for a password when you boot. But the idea is just to automatically log in during this process. So now we can go back to that uh, link. And uh, the only way, the best way is when you don't want to use this, just un uninstall it. So open with this, this with Firefox 24. So it depends, like it's up and down. <clears throat> now, can we get any better than that? I don't know. But you do some searching. Okay, so uh, sourceforge.net slash projects, see? e 4 rat slash file so the latest one is this I've already downloaded it and it's a the buy-in file but we have to prepare uh, Ubuntu to install this after it's downloaded uh, go to your uh, download uh, synaptic I uh, look for this uh, paste that in from notes you read ahead uber read ahead and you select for mark for removal and it should come back to also remove Ubuntu minimal so you mark that press apply and then uh, it's going to be removed and from your downloads uh, folder uh, there's e4 rat the Mayan package just uh, hit enter or double click that it should open software center and hopefully it will install if you get this message just say ignore and install this is just experimental anyway I'll open a terminal going to edit a file so it's a sudo gedit slash etc uh, and then uh, e4rat dot config password not much to do here but I want to change the timeout it says uh, 120 seconds which is two minutes I, I'm going to give it uh, <coughs> three minutes so 360 save that exit and since we're here, we'll just do a sudo reboot. Okay, when it's rebooting, hold down the left shift key if you if you can't get to the, the uh, grub menu. The first entry here is Ubuntu. Press E. And we'll go down to where it says Linux here. Press the E and D end on your keyboard. And then add in init equals slash S bin and then E4 for rat dash collect. Oh, yeah, I think that's right. Collect 
and then um, control X to continue boot. once you're logged in uh, open the terminal and just type in top and you can see here e4 rat is uh, running as you're opening programs, uh, take a look at uh, your top uh, in the terminal. So once your uh, three minutes are up or whatever, I had to pause uh, for a bit. Um, you just uh, you can do the same thing: issue sudo reboot. Type in your password. Again, hold down the left uh, shift key. Press E. And hope sometimes this works and sometimes it doesn't. At the end of the Linux line, see each time you reboot that whatever you put there is going to be removed. So we'll just type the word single and press Control X to continue booting. Hopefully this will put us into a safe mode. If not, then we'll just have to go with it as it is. Okay, good. Okay, to check quickly, you just do a uh, ls. Uh, a list of var lib slash e4 rat, rat press enter you see start up log there so what we want to do is write to that using um, e4 rat realloc reallocate so it's a e4 rat dash re actually let me do this make it easier <laughs> e4 rat dash re alloc and then that whoops didn't mean to do that press the n key and then start up dot log and hopefully it'll uh, reallocate what it's been finding so it's this parsing file of that startup log all right after it's uh, booted up we have to uh, tell it to preload that startup log uh, so we'll just open a terminal and put in a sudo g edit and the safest way to edit our the grub line is etsy default slash grub i've already added the line in uh, so it's under this grub command line linux default after quiet splash you have a space and then in it equals spin slash spin slash e4 rat dash preload and then uh, save and exit. After it's saved, you just issue sudo update dash grub and it generates the files. Exit and then uh, just reboot the machine. Okay, it uh, says preloading content. There we go. And we'll see uh, what happens after a few reboots. Okay, so it's rebooted. Um, let's uh, the chart has been created, but uh, let's open Firefox. Whoa, that's much faster. Uh, system. Okay, already the system is much more responsive. So, it it might not like increase your boot up time insanely, but it should help along with your uh, installed applications. And as I said before, it's not. I don't have a lot of programs installed so there wasn't much for it to uh, collect but if you do have a new installation I wouldn't uh, try to do this well I would actually I wouldn't even suggest trying to do this on your main system unless you have a lot of backup but if you do decide to do it wait until you have a lot of programs installed and everything's cleaned up and up to date and then try this but make sure you have a backup use clonezilla or anything uh, back up everything you can and then try this out so like I said the boot chart isn't everything so we'll take a look at it I think that's the latest one. Oh darn oh that's neat 26 seconds <laughs> I didn't realize I had that installed so like I said you'll get uh, varying degrees of uh, boot times and uh, pretty good as I said, you want the overall responsiveness of your system. If you want, you can uncheck uh, the uh, automatic login if you're getting prompted for passwords and stuff when you start up. And uh, give this a go if you want to try it. Uh, I'd suggest trying this in a virtual machine. And eventually, if you want to try it on your main system, remember to back up, back up, back up. I think I'll wrap this up. Um, 
it does take a little time and sometimes it's a little frustrating, but uh, seems to be worth the effort. All right, so thank you so for, so much for watching, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.